guys welcome back to miss t's doll room and today we are going to unbox review and redress barbie signature looks model number three she is finally in the house and as of now i have a complete set and i am so thrilled so let's get started so as you guys can see her box is banged up because that that cardboard box she was in was just really dented and they only had one little thin sheet of bubble wrap about this big laying on top of this box so that's all the protection she came with and of course the invoice slip so on first inspection i think she has the prettiest little face just love that little munchkin face she is such a pretty doll and i like her outfit pieces but we're going to go ahead and get her out of the box first we're going to take a look at the side of the box which says looks and on the other side model number three and then on the back it has those fabulous graphics and we're going to get them all together and take a picture of all of them together the way that i have redressed all of them okay it's time to set her free so we have our little surgical scissors out i'm going to get her snipped right on out of this box So they didn't have the plastic staples in this doll, so that was good. And let me just take out the little stand piece here. And we can take a closer look at this little girl. She is so pretty. Love her the little peachy rosiness of her of her skin tone. She's pale, but she has a rosiness about her. She's kind of pink. So her top is consisted of two pieces one white sheer mesh under this black and it velcros in the back and then she has on like this little black long pencil type skirt and I like her shoe mold these these wedge heels here and the black looks like it has a little texture on top and of course she has articulation at the head or her neck Shoulders, upper arms, elbows, wrists, at the hip, and let's see. She has these little knee guards on both legs. This is the first doll that had them on both legs. So let's get these off over. All right, there we go. So we got those things off of her. Her hair has a lot of product in it, but she has some really nice flocking. Hers doesn't appear to be marred in any kind of way. So I looked up on that. And she's clean. She didn't arrive to me dirty. That's important love that little pale pink rosy lipstick she has on and the way they painted her her eyes is very pretty looks like she has a little pink shadow at the top love the shape of her brows and we're going to wet this hair and fluff her up and everything all in all she was to me she was my favorite of the female dolls because i just thought she was so dainty love the asian look of her and she's just really pretty so i really liked her out of all the female dolls, I think I like her best. We're going to do something to that hair. But first, I just wanted you guys to get a good look at her out of the box. Love the long skirt on her. And it is of a stretchy material. So, I'm sure it will stretch to fit a lot of different body types. But we'll check that out. And let's just give her a little spin around. She has a really nice flocking job like the fact that all the pieces are easy to put on and take off the doll. They slide on. I like her new shoe mold. At least it's new to me. I haven't seen it. But then I don't buy a whole lot of Barbie dolls. So I can't really say. But I do like the um, wedge of it. And we're going to see if any of the other dolls can wear this as well. And here we go. So that is one full spin. And let's see if we can redress her and pierce those ears and do something to that hair. Because that's what doll play is all about. Hey 
Okay, so I found this little uh, Live Doll shirt that will go with her black skirt and everything. But I'm going to go ahead and pierce her ears. And I think I'm going to give her some silver hoop earrings. Because she's just, to me, she's just a little more casual than some of the other dolls in this line. She strikes me as a spunky little petite girl. Okay. So we got that earring in there. I like her better with earrings. And I tried to pump up her hair just a little. Let me show you how. Not much. I still think it's long enough for me to put a couple of perm rods in there and give it a little lift. And I will try that later. But for right now, I wet it with my little fabric softener conditioner and pumped it up just a little. And I'm loving the way she looks. I love this cut on this doll. I think she's gorgeous. Alright, and let's just get her back in her shoes. And I'll give her give you guys a close look at her. I won't put her on the turntable, but um I'll give you a straight on look at her. Hey, here she is. She's such a sweet little munchkin. So sweet. So this is a little top with a little pink in it. It's a live doll shirt that I put on just to give her a little color to go with her matching skirt before we change her look entirely. I pumped up her do a little bit as you can see from the side. I love the cut of this and at some point I am going to try to put a rod in her hair just to kind of give it some curl up top to see how that turns out. I've already seen some fabulous things um, people have done. They've flocked her hair, cut all her hair off, all kinds of different stuff. So I don't adventure much with customizing my dolls but um we'll see i think a little roller set might do her good and if i didn't mention before her face mold is a new face mold and it is called kit k-i-t kit so this is cute little kit let's get ready for our second look okay guys i found this little lavender and floral ensemble I want to try on her because it has a very slim silhouette and she's petite so you know I'm not sure I have a whole lot of clothing that's gonna fit her unless it's something like you know kind of slim fitting so we're gonna try this on her I'm sure it'll look good on her and the sweater won't bulk her up too much I'm hoping and this came from one of those little Arco packs so there we go Let's get her sweater on her. All right. Get the sweater on. Her fingers are kind of splayed wide apart, so this may be a little challenge trying to get her fingers through the armholes here. The openings. I don't want to tear up my sweater. I've had it for years, so it would be a shame to have it this long and fall into disrepair. All right. All right. She's so short, she could definitely benefit from some heels. So I found some here. Let's see if I can manage to keep these on her feet. They are slim, but she can wear them so let me get some double-sided tape and we'll put some on the bottom of her feet all right we have some double-sided tape and I cut little pieces of it and I apply it directly to the bottom of her feet and let's see here this will help that shoe stay on and not drop off every time I move her So now 
the shoes are on. It's a cute little open toe mule with a chunky heel. Had them for a long time too. And she's so tiny, she can definitely benefit from wearing some heels. So we're going to get her on a stand and take another look at her. Right, we've got Miss Barbie Signature Looks Model Number 3, Miss Kit herself, Asian Petite, looking a little more sophisticated yet cute in her little purple floral ensemble. Tried to give her a little sexy pose there. She's going to be the little sexy short girl. I'm going to give her a spin on the carousel. I even managed to find a purple Kaiser stand to match her ensemble. And I prefer Kaiser stands. I think um, I have been requested to do a video on stands. So I have to gather up the different types. But mainly my go-to is the Kaiser stand. So there she is, her hair fluffed up just a teeny bit. Love her face, she is so pretty to me. And I have one more look for her that's a little bit glam, so we're going to see if I can pull that off on this doll. Okay, so we're going to try on this America's Top Model dress on her. This is not the Barbie Top Model, but there was a line of dolls called America's Top Model. The clothes were so tiny that the regular Barbies could not wear them, but it fits perfectly on this petite doll, so I'm glad I kept it all these years. We're going to glam up her earrings. This vinyl on her head is really tough. I'm having a hard time just getting these earrings in her ear. Even though I've already used the push pin to open up the holes, you know, to make the holes to pierce it. But for some reason, it just feels like it closes back up just like human ears does when you don't wear earrings in your ears. So let's find her some shoes. Alright, I found some of these silkstone pumps. So we're going to try these on her. See if they'll work. And they're gold as well. And they do fit. I think she needs some jewelry. So let's find her some jewelry. Okay guys, we have Miss Kit all glammed up in her gold lame. A little short sheath dress and her gold heels and a gold bangle. And some gold jewelry. I didn't put anything else on her because I felt like because she's so small, it's going to overpower her. But I love her look. Like I said, she's my favorite out of all of the female dolls from this line. Give her a little spin. She wears this dress so well. She's short, spunky, and sexy in her little gold lame dress. I love this on her. And I'm glad I have a doll that I can put it on. I've had this for years. I usually put it on somebody for a top, but it was really tight. But on her, it fits really perfectly. She's so pretty. Love her look. Can't wait to see the repaints of this face mold. I'm sure they're going to be spectacular. Okay. So we gave Miss Kit three looks. And I am pleased with all of them. And I like these little dolls because they encourage the whole point of playing with your dolls. They're not so expensive that you're afraid to handle them or ruin their value. They're just right and I can dress them up in whatever mood that I feel like suits them best at the time for whatever I'm going to, you know, look for. Whatever mood I'm trying to set, whether it's glam or casual or what have you. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Just hit that like button if you find this content valuable to you. And if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop me a line. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, then y'all need to subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to check out my doll listings and 3D printed miniatures and all that stuff at hegearl.com. That description box is in the link. And what's more, the things that I am selling from my collection to thin it out are all listed on that web page. So if you see something you like, I'll just say this. The more you buy, 
the bigger discount you get. So if you see several items that you would like to purchase all at once, don't hesitate to drop me a line on Instagram or on Messenger. And I'm happy to work out a deal with you just to get this stuff out of my doll room. And until the next video, I wish you guys a blessed and safe week. And we'll see you back. Bye.